the splatter brains. They maintain it slow lane, they so lame. You got hooked on garbage, you crash like cocaine. <laughs> All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, folks, round one is underway. Good to have you with us tonight. This could be a very technical fight, and if you are someone who likes the jiu-jitsu game, this is not a fight you want to miss. We've got a different audience tonight. Yeah. Because when this one was announced, the whole entire jiu-jitsu world took notice. They said, wow, we get to watch these two fighters compete in the UFC. It's... Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have now landed for Yair Rodriguez. Oh, he lands another strike. So right there, DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, that is his biggest strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because his gas tank seems to be on the verge of empty. The gas tank is completely empty. All that butt mash did you no good. You wasted your energy. You wasted your time. Now it's just a matter of when your opponent decides to finish. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. DC didn't take him long to find his range. Back to the feet. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Still dangerous, goodness gracious, move like the Gracie brothers. Do I pay me something? Fed everybody, they don't say me nothing. Still back to the bone from fetus. Them man move misleading. Choco, check if he's breathing. Large, ever don't think he's breathing. Gully bop, them weave, man leaning. Last man that tried, they're freaking. Don't talk too much, no more speaking. Man pre man and man, man still scheming. No threats to protect my cleaners. Creep them, beat it, catch man sleeping. So the beefing thing's not needed, but I had big, big man turn Jesus. It's a lightweight bout between Rafael Dos Anjos and Charles Oliveira.
Ingram. You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top, he's got the strong base and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. He starts to advance position and get grounded on him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one? An elbow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Landing it well here. Good action early. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh, big left. Oh. And yeah, that's going to do it. He got it. Oh. <laughs> we came a long way. <laughs> whip, 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 crane. Yeah. I spend it all up on my shoes. If you do not f with me, I'll have to cut you loose. They said that I wouldn't make it, now my touch a world sensation. Made a lot of money, think it's time for a vacation. Every day I wake up thinking, goddamn, I just made it. Yeah, I don't f with fake, so I just put them in the basement. Ladies really love me, is it called or just some money? People hit my lips and I just think it's really funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told you so. Took too many, my overdose. Yeah, yeah, told you. yeah, yeah, I told you so. Why you gotta be so emotional? Yeah, 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 I told you so. Took too many, my overdose. Yeah, 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 I told you so. Why you gotta be so emotional? Yeah, back, 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 back. Can you back it up? Oh, you say no. Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Alexander Volkanovsky. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're in danger the entire time. And he is dealing with a cut, it looks like, above that right eyebrow. Wow, what a kick! Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kick is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Just missed with the leg kick. All right, he's got the over-under in the clinch. What exactly does that mean, over-under? I mean, it's a 50-50 position. Each guy has an underhook, each guy has an overhook. Who's gonna be the one that goes and scores from this position first? All right, so a nice shot there to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot 
That's incoming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Right hand on point. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going over to right over the top. With that beautiful overhand. Great run. Back to the feet. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, round two now, folks. Charles you ready? Oliveira. You ready? Versus Alexander Volkanovski. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And there's that elbow blocked by Oliveira. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So 52 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Charles Dubrox Oliver. Oh, there's that patented heavy leg kick. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yeah? Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, nice jab. Company. Blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh, massive. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he is Surprised to see him win a $50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks, courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight.